the most awkward time to this, but I decided I didn't want to sit down. So sorry. We just love you best. <laughs> <laughs> Which is really cool. Yeah, it's my. Um, yeah, it's my, I'm like knocking things over. <laughs> while Maria is adjusting her desk from standing to seating position, welcome to Spontaneity, where we discuss all things spontaneous and how to implement more spontaneous moments into your life, kind of like this severe thunderstorm that's in my area. Or me moving my desk randomly. My lighting is- Or wrong. you moving your desk randomly and not being in- Am I invisible? You're not invisible. We can see you. <laughs> Guys, as soon as you come in here, please click like and click share. That's how we grow as a show and connect to other awesome people like yourself. Grow as a show. Did you do that on purpose? I did not, but I should sure. from now on. Be and sure. instead of Yeah, instead of saying click like and click share, I'll be like click like, click share, put your hands in the air, and wave them like you just don't care. Boop, boop. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, so Maria, we just got out of a holiday moment. Uh, it was the 4th of July, uh, what, two days ago? What day is it? Is it Tuesday? Yeah, it is. Yes, it's Tuesday the 6th. Ah, how was your 4th? Oh, child. It was the way that my life is. <laughs> it was, so it, got was, it. it was pretty good overall, like 30,000 foot view. It was good. Wicked. Small, minute moments of it. Um, my eight-year-old busted his permanent front tooth in half <laughs> on the side of the pool. Um, Ouch. Yeah. Is he all right? He'll be all right, yeah. So we ended up at Children's because I'm like, I mean, what else would you do? Come on. <laughs> so set up there at Children's. He goes to the dentist to have all that fixed on Friday. So right now. So he's just got like... Yeah, and it's really terrible. This is people are gonna judge me. I'm gonna get all kinds of hate mail, but I'm so sad. Anyway. <laughs> um, we're a very sarcastic, jokey family. So jokingly, we were calling him Saggle Tooth. Oh, we. <laughs> what did he say? He goes, "Stop he'd it!" Because he's eight. He go, and I'd say, "You know I love you. You're my little Snaggle Tooth." Oh um, my it was god, really bad. it was really sad. Um, I should have like seen you a picture. You could have put it up there because it was it's bad. It's like in half. Oh, so, how is he like eating? I mean, he does. He's like, I mean, it's not like we have like many manners in my family most of the time. It's just the way you just like chew like, on. The, remember, like you like lose a tooth or something. Like chew on the other side. Chew on the other side. Yes, <laughs> kind of like that. Oh. But it was he freaked. He, we all freaked out. It was not a pretty moment for our family. We're all like, ah! yes. like everybody the around everywhere. Entire, entire pool is like screaming and freaking. Like our hair is on oh fire. My God. And, you know, my husband's stopping around because he's all mad. And the 12 year olds cries. Okay, you bet, Kate. Kate's crying yes. because they were both wrestling in the pool. And mm. Kate's the one that flipped in and his face hit. So Kate was blaming himself. It Aww. was a whole thing. It was a whole yeah. thing. <laughs> Got it. So, I can only imagine. Yeah, it was quite chaotic, you know, at that successfully. moment. Successfully. At that moment, it was not successfully. It was only chaotic. <laughs> Just chaotic. There's, you know, bleeding and kids screaming and then you know the older kids the teenagers want to help by saying what was you doing why was you doing that why were you being careful and so i'm trying to calm everybody down and i'm trying to not panic because i still don't even know all that happened yet right so yeah it was a whole ordeal but he was fine Good. it could have been so much worse you know what i mean you always do that you know it's like oh he could have like had a head injury or something like oh uh, yeah it could have been worse, fixed. Yeah. he will be fine he goes to yeah. the dentist we have dental insurance so it's cool you know it's fun we have you know the rest of this week to go on snaggle tooth and him <laughs> and, you know it's a whole it's, it's it's family bonding you know it it's is a character yeah a let yeah sure yeah you were gonna say allegedly but yeah i was <laughs> I it's, was always made fun of, and I have lots. Of that's why I'm like, I'm, I'm like, okay, Stacy, how'd you turn out? Like realistically, you're fine, right? I'm like, yeah, I got a couple of things, you know, yeah. but I'm but all who right. Does it? Who does? Who it? does it? Right, exactly. All right, you know what? Allegedly is not the correct response. I take that back. Hopefully, <laughs> you know. Hopefully, we'll see, <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Hopefully, <laughs> you see? we'll see. 
that's oh, that's parenting. Anyway. Parenting 101 is making it up as you go along. That, that's really it. And I've, I'm honest with my kids on that. I'm like, you think we know what we're doing? We yeah. don't know what we're doing. <laughs> I used to think, like, as a kid, that my parents were the almighty. Oh, I did. Like, they just, like, knew everything. Their rules, they're, they, they've they been through it. They they will never, ever, ever misguide me. That was my journey as a child. Like, I would and, and always. And it probably purposely, however. Right. Things happen because you learn through experience. But, oh, yeah, in my mind, you, you. <laughs> I was, I was such an one. interesting kid. Oh my god, it was. I crazy. bet you were. I bet you were. I bet you were like super, like intuitive. Did you ask a lot of questions? Oh my god, did I? Either <laughs> <laughs> like that, I would just stare. Yeah, stare at you because you wanted to ask the question, but you were afraid to ask the question. I just feel like I asked a lot of questions. Why? Too. Like, is that what happens? Like, isn't it just like you don't actually go to school for these things? You just kind of figure well, it out. Come on again. It's Sean. Sean wears white tees? I don't know. Hey, Sean. Hey. How's it going? Hey. I'm in. Sorry. Uh -huh. <laughs> what did you say to me? I said, go grease lighting. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So th th this is Sean coming home from work. Uh, just just got home. Uh, haven't, sho haven't, haven't showered, haven't done anything. Just kind of. Right in the 50s. 1955, right? He's dedicated. Oh, white t-shirt. Come on now. It's all right. I, like I really didn't think you wore white t-shirts. I thought it was either gray, greens, blues. No, th this is this is what I wear for work. I wear white t-shirts and blue jeans. So you don't wear like. So you're a Gap model. You're a Gap model. There we go. He's <laughs> like the secret out. You know what? Hey now. <laughs> I know you. I know you love me. I know. <laughs> He's been waiting. That's one reason he showed up. <laughs> He's like, hold on, I'm gonna be there. Just give me yeah, like five yeah, minutes. I gotta get, power up the good old. <laughs> I got a nice so one. <laughs> <laughs> I got him. I, 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 you know, I came prepared. Thank you, Sean. I got a nice one. <laughs> this is fantastic. <laughs> that's I spontaneous can't. right yeah it is it is <laughs> especially like showing up right from like that's that's wild right from work like oh yeah i would have been like i don't even know what's going on i need well, like a you, good 10 minutes to like decompress well i know I, I i had time to go to the bathroom i had time to you know wash your hands uh, wash my hands yeah. uh elevate you know and all that other stuff oh, got it <laughs> <laughs> i don't know what that means <laughs> Maria, elevate. I don't know what elevate means. I'm on a higher perspective. Yeah, he's oh, on a higher perspective. Oh. Yeah. I was in the bathroom. You didn't tell me you're in the bathroom. So I'm still in the bathroom. My mind went bad places. <laughs> That's just what happened. In the bathroom? I don't know. I don't know in what happened. In the bathroom. Well, I mean, possibly. I don't know. I don't, but you know what? This is one thing that I definitely have to say. I know you. I know you love me. I know. <laughs> she's so Wait cute. I can't stand it. <laughs> yeah, she's. I, I love that. I just I watched that over and over. I was like, oh my God, it's so cute. And I oh, love that so age though. I love that age where they're old enough that they know phrases of stuff, mm -hmm. and they even know how to use them appropriately most of the time. Mm -hmm. But it's just so funny. Like, Sayla's at that phase. Oh, like, my God. Sayla's hilarious. The stuff that kid comes up with. And I'd say if, if, Sean, if your daughter or my daughter were ever to, like, me, they'd probably come up with all kinds of... Oh, my goodness. Well, you know, the, the crazy thing is... is <clears throat> I'm listening to her now because she's an only child, right? Mm -hmm. And so she's playing make believe and doing all these things. So like you can you can tell a lot about what's going on in their world yeah. by listening to their um their little whatever you call it. Uh your their their make believe life because their make believe life is really 
is really a, a tra- a, a, like a um, like a transcript of their real life and what they've actually you know experienced during the, the previous week or up until I've I've seen her. I'm only smiling because you're right, and then I just got worried. <laughs> 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 about my own kid and what her like whole thing has been lately her whole thing lately has been everything has to do with she's really angry at the fact that she doesn't get to stand up to pee she's really upset about the fact that she and i quote <laughs> won't throw a giant pee pee um she's hey. really upset that, about all of that so yesterday she was carrying on this big stick and we go, and I'm pretending to pee with it. So while you're saying this, these are the things that's washing through my head. It's like, oh, I don't really know <laughs> how to take that to a moment. Like, well, it must be something that she she's either seen or somebody, you know what I mean? That, that So oh, okay. that, that makes a lot of sense. She's got two brothers. She I mean, has three know. brothers, technically. The other one's 19. But the 12-year-old and the 8-year-old are the closest in age to her. So she plays with those two all the time. So well, there you I go. think that's what it is. It's like That makes sense. When they got to go pee, they go and stand up and they can go anywhere. <laughs> yeah. I felt like that as a little girl. I think a lot of little girls feel like that sometimes. Like they realize, like when they consciously realize that guys and girls pee differently, it's like. Not fair. Are you kidding me? What's up with that? And they try and like figure it out, but it doesn't, you know, it never works out. But eventually, I, I think most kids get past eventually, it. Eventually they get it. on Amazon and they buy the little pink thing that allows you to still stand up and pee. Yeah, I might have to invest in that. So here's a good question. What is the appropriate age at which you stop letting your kids see you uh, undressed? When they start paying attention. (laughs) And there's no magic age on that because I've had it all over the place. But when you start to notice they're going, or like with with Sayla in particular, she was getting mad because (laughs) You know, Chad would change us up when she was a baby, and then she would get mad. He'd go in there and pee, and she'd be like, I want to come in there. I want to pee. And that's why we're like, no. <laughs> I don't know. You are cut off. <laughs> you know? And, like, my eight-year-old, um, he hasn't been allowed to watch me change for a while because I started noticing it would be like this. He'd be, like, on the other side door. He'd be like. Uh, you know, uh, like, weird, get out. <laughs> makes sense. Get out. So makes once sense. you start noticing – because, I mean, even at the very beginning, it's innocent. It's more a curiosity thing. But right. Still, it feels very weird. So right. once you get that, like, that you notice they're looking a little too long, they're noticing it's just not, like, your arm or, you know, your leg or something, that they notice it's different, that's enough. <laughs> yeah. That's when I've, I'm not saying that's right or wrong, but that's how I've done it because I'm uncomfortable at that point. Mm. Well, being a, a, a father, too, of a daughter, it that's, I mean, you know what I mean? Because you, you I, I notice things that she does. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like that. Okay. Why are you doing that? Yeah. Um, but, you know, just like stuff like where I'll, she'll, she'll, I'll see her press her herself into something. Yeah. You know what I mean? And like, sometimes I'll like, I'll notice her doing that with me. I'm like, hey, stop. Hey, what are you no. doing? What are you doing? No, no. One you know, thing at that age is not any different than like, yeah, you know, like her arm itching or something. She doesn't notice it to that level, but still, yeah, yeah. You know. Well, yeah, it's like it, it's like oh shit, what are the rules? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you you know what I mean? Yeah. Or or sometimes she'll like I'll notice her like she'll she'll like brush me with her foot and then like try to bring her foot back to that and I'm, hey stop. Yeah. Mm. You know what I mean? Because it's like, it is uncomfortable. You know what I mean? And it's like with all the crazy shit going on, you know, with, with kids and adults and, and and all that stuff, it's just, you know, Well, you don't also, you don't want to hyper like overreact either because yeah, yeah. she's obviously she's three and she doesn't understand to her. It's just like, what the heck was that? Probably. Right. Yeah. yeah, I don't have that. What was that? You know? So the way that I've always described it with my kids is I've always just said, you know, we all have our, private parts and you know you don't need to be looking at other people's private parts and i just kind of left it at that and as they ask questions i answer the questions but you know it it's it was only weird with really with my first one explaining everything because that was my first time i ever had to explain everything yeah yeah i 
thought I was going to throw up, actually. The whole, like, birds of the bees conversation, that was the most uncomfortable <laughs> thing I ever did in my entire life because I'd never done it before. And after that, it was easy. You know, <clears throat> but that first time I was like, ah, ah, because it was just terrible. But, but she was also still young. She was seven, and I had to explain it to her because we ended up getting these two rabbits that we were told were females lie because they had babies so <laughs> i couldn't get the kid down so she kept going but how do you know they're both still not girls how do you know how do you know they're both still not girls i'm like honey <laughs> has to, to be able to make babies have that boy bunny and girl but 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 how how do you know how do you know so i finally <laughs> you're gonna have to, have to tell her because yeah. she just she was so worried she couldn't figure it out and finally i had to use the rabbits as an example and it was awful it was so terrible I was like, oh, would you like flip one over? Uh -huh. No, I just, I just used the rabbit to try to explain the difference. She, must, she molested the male rabbit and <laughs> see, <laughs> look, this is the, the difference. See, <laughs> we done dove off a cliff of no. no. <laughs> you know what's so funny? I think awesome. it's funny that uh, Natasha and I were talking today. She's like, look, when, if and when we have children, you're going to be the one that's going to tell them especially if it's a boy where babies come from i'm like why is that like why can't we both do it like i don't understand she just like nominated me and i'm like i have no problem telling a child like where babies come from to me it's like more scientific like well explain it to me like you mean right now yeah. <laughs> like, like like here like, why? It doesn't even No, I, I would, you know, straight up just be like, look, you know, guys have different parts from girls. Guys have penises. Women have vaginas. And men have <laughs> semen. And women have ovaries. <laughs> I know that's a common thing. Right? Well, men have semen and women have. All right. That's and, so <laughs> All right. Things have to happen. Okay, when they love each other or they give consent, okay, both of them say, uh, Yay, okay. I love that you use the scientific terms, that's where I failed as a parent. Because <laughs> I did me not. personally, I'm not into like, All right, one person takes their whoopsie, and one person takes their whoopsie. Like, I'm I didn't say that. whoopsie, however, it wasn't far off. <laughs> I, I, I would because the thing is, like, for me, I feel like I don't want my kid to think that these are weird things. I know. You know what I mean? Like, I, it's like, is that your, me. is that your wubsy pubsy that you like, I don't want, like, next thing you know, they're like 16. It's like, uh, uh, I don't know what to do with my wubsy pubsy is acting differently. Like, I don't want my kids to know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> your your so, wubsy pubsy. Right. So, so right. what, what is it? What is this wubsy pubsy thing? I don't know. I just, I just imagine. Wubsy, I like a it. weird, a weird, the weirdest thing I could think of, and that that's just. Is, is that is that like a is that like a name for? Are you referring to a, a genitalia? Yeah, I. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Sean. Okay, so I always. So I'm trying, always... trying to be proper genitalia. Is that your genitalia? You're talking I don't about? know what it is about my, about me, but the proper term sounds more dirty to me. It's because like you of say how we were raised. Like, yes, vagina. I'm like, oh, oh. But if you say like some other name, I'm like, I'm totally fine with it. It's because how like, we were raised. And like genitalia, I'm like, oh my gosh, no, we can't say genitalia. That's are you are you like, procreating vaginally? Yeah. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> it's not like an ad. Oh my are god. You, are you procreating vaginally? If so, I've got the lube for you. Oh my god. Too late there, Shawnee boy. Too late. Uh, oh man. man. Miss Sean, my call. All of us can make some crazy. Remember I told you about that, Maria? Like the fake ads we could make? I think we should. Oh my well, god. All right. Sean. That has to be a project for another day. Well, we that's... can pull out Sean's clip of his ad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got nice I've clip. got the lube for you. I feel like I should be the pro poster child though, since I've had all the kids. Yeah. Go, do you want to go from here to here? If so, I've oh. got the lube for you. Oh my god. I can't. I got a nice one. <laughs> I knew, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. So, let's just stay on this conversation, but I need to know, Stacey, do, do you call the genitalia anything other than the proper terms? Of course. Okay. That's what I was wondering. Because I was not like, Not Pubsy Wubsy. No I'll tell you that. That's disturbing. Let's call a whole bunch of other things. I always <laughs> call 
I always Ooh. refer, this is really terrible, but I always refer to female genitalia as a cha-cha. My four-year-old calls it a cha-cha as well. <laughs> it's, a oh, yeah, it's not wrong. It's not wrong. <laughs> what is a cha-cha move? Oh my god. Um, well, it depends on my uh, conversation. I'm doing the doing the Brussels sprout. The, what? The, that was that was that was the Brussels sprout. Is that a that thing? Dance? Yeah. Well, that's that that's the cabbage patch in a in a crowded club. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you gotta oh do the break. You gotta do the do the Brussels Dad sprout. Yes. Dad jokes all, <laughs> all day. Dad no, he did not. Did that just happen? That did. I gotta start quoting this show. I really do. Like, I gotta start quoting this show. This is just like hilarious. It's terrifying. <laughs> I, I yeah. see Marie's like, this is absolutely <laughs> terrifying. <Yeah. laughs> I think oh the funniest name I ever heard, though, you ever watch The New Girl or New Girl or whatever, whichever name it is? The New Girl, New Girl. Is that the show where the girls are like waitresses or something? No, it's a show that's, with that's, one that's girl. broke chicks. Two oh, broke chicks. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's where the um, one girl Jess moves in with Nick and um, what the hell is that? Um, I can't think of his name. I know it, but I forgot it. But anyway, point is, is they refer to the male genitalia as PPM bubbles, and um, PPM bubbles. That makes sense. And I, get it. I think it's hysterical. And what's really funny is my nephew always uh, called it PPM bubbles because of that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. My my PPM bubbles. My PPM bubbles. <laughs> hey ba hey babe. You ready to uh you ready no, to, no, no, no. to 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 play with play with the PPM bubbles? <laughs> I was like, don't finish that sentence. <laughs> you, you want you wanna play PPM bubbles tonight? Oh my god. <laughs> As a woman, I am my Case and um, up in, in uh, what I'm attracted to, I would say that would not work. No, no. all right, <laughs> back to the drawing I would, board. I would say that that would be like the opposite of working. Oh my god, uh, see, this, this is this is where this is where I come to practice my my uh, my game so we're, we're oh my, or, or my lack of game. Oh my god. We're sex therapists now. Can we put that on our tag? Like, you know what's funny? I used to want to be a sex therapist. Like I actually was taking classes to be a oh, sex that's therapist. That's why you say it all like penis and, and, and like a marriage counselor. Like that was my Why would you want to do that? <laughs> you it just was... listen to people argue mm. and you just sit back like this because well, I mean, I and they're, felt, and, I and, felt, they're, and and each side's trying to manipulate manipulate you to be on their side, and and oh my god, it's yeah, so of horrible. But that's the you thing. Want, you, you, you know, know what's what? going to happen. Like you know, in some cases, not all. Some cases, it's like real subtle. Like what the heck is going on here? But I don't know. For some reason, at a young age, you know, based on like experiences with like people in my life and their relationships like i would watch these things and i'm like wow like word choice or this or that body language tone like it's just certain things i would start to like pick up and i'm like what would have happened if that was said in this way or do you think that was something that needed to be said or whatever the case is everybody's situation is different but yeah i was i was going i was taking taking like marriage and family classes all this craziness and then eventually i was like no <laughs> <laughs> to you know, it was it was literally because of the time that it took for me to go from point A to point B, not because of the end result. It was like I was just like, that's too much school. I don't. It's not even a lot of school. It's like what, like two years or something like that. I was like, I don't want to do that. You don't feel like you're ready to help people with their marriage in two years. No. Is it four year I, degree I'm, or two yeah. year? I don't feel like you're ready. <laughs> I don't feel. <laughs> I'm you you, you, want, you want to know who I'd want to have as a marriage counselor is somebody who's been divorced five times. Cause you, cause or or you, Laura you, Doyle. Lord, no, no, yeah, Lord Doyle. Oh, yeah, that's that's the lady uh, who I'm. Uh, I still haven't put that one out yet. Yeah. That I got. That I got. Oh, that I got to put that one out. I thought you were talking about something famous or something. No, what? I don't. No, uh, did you did you re-listen? <laughs> did you listen to that back again? Yes, I did. Did you did you pick up what I was talking about, or was it just yes. is it just me? No, no, no. It's not just you. We'll we'll talk after. But 
We'll talk after. <laughs> <laughs> but I understand. I'm picking up what you're putting down. I just got to uh, figure it out. <laughs> so this is going to be, you'll get to experience what I get to experience because Stacey will be like, you remember when you said this? I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. She'll be like, oh, this was so awesome when you said this right here. I was like, I said that? I don't remember saying that. Oh, yeah. When I start quoting you. Yeah, she'll quote. She'll be like, Maria. <laughs> but I was like, I did. I said, uh, you're like, what? I said that? I Look, let me tell you the, the craziest thing. Like, I, I remember I started quoting myself because I was like, you know what? That's a great thing. Like, how would people feel? Like, would they feel the way I feel when I hear this moment? So I just started putting out quotes and people started vibing with it. Like, you'd be surprised about the stuff you say because you're in the moment, right? Mm-hmm. You're in the vibing. moment when you're you're just vibing. You're, yeah. you're vibing and surfing. you're like surfing. Yeah. You're surfing, you know, you're figuring stuff out and communication is such a beautiful thing. And when you really play it back and listen to these little tiny moments, like such power, like such, like, I just love it. I, I, like, Oh, <laughs> I'm eating popcorn. Sorry. I'm hungry. That's fine. That's totally fine. I'm drinking seltzer. I'm sweating. Like, I thought it was gonna like cool down the space with this thunderstorm. I'm gonna have to put the AC back on. Yeah. I don't know why you turned it off. Because usually when it thunders in the way that it was promised, it oh usually like brings all this like cool someone air. Was, someone promised to bring the thunder? Yeah. Well, oh, <laughs> he's gonna press it. Go just press it, Sean. <laughs> you're, you're, I, I feel like you're gearing to press it. I, I, I wasn't, but. Oh. This would be the time. Like, I got it, nice. Yeah, I got it. Nice. <laughs> so you you yeah, looking for you, you looking for the thunder? <laughs> <laughs> I got it. Nice the guy I brought the like, lightning. Yeah. I bring the thunder. I bring the thunder. <laughs> That's also one that's not gonna work. Thunder right. from down under. <laughs> not gonna work. No. I would be like, ew. Mm. Guys, is is it a good time to transition into some healthy habits? Yeah, probably. Of embracing spontaneity. Oh, I, need, I, I need some into our life. habits. I need I need me some healthy habits, boy, because mine are sure <sighs> barking up the, the unhealthy tree uh, as of late. Why is that? Because of you starting back to work? Oh, you, no. Well, it just. Ugh. What he I don't said. Know. What he said, I don't, I, you know, this is so, so depressing and taxing. I just, I don't know if I can go any further. <laughs> is this, is this a, no, seriously, is this an after show discussion or an on show discussion? Yeah, you don't, I'm not trying to like pull something out of you that you don't want to share. Oh, no, no, no. I'm just, just, uh, just j- j- trying to d- get on that, that eating healthy. You, Cause you know, anybody, anybody who's ever struggled with any kind of the, how they eat and weight loss and all this other stuff, it's, it's almost uh, trying to get back into it. It's almost like trying to uh, trying to get a running start and hop on a on a horse, right? Mm. And, and it's like you know, you uh, the first time you try to get on it, God damn it, then you try to get on it again. You f- you you fail and fall a few times before you're like, oh, then you you're in that groove, right? It takes a, it takes a minute, at least it for me, fun. it does. For me, it does, man. It's like ah, oh, God, I just because I love to eat and I you love eat. cooking. You can cook. uh, uh, the stuff that I like to eat. Not okay, what do you just, like to eat? I like to eat pasta and okay, uh, healthier versions. And so healthier versions of everything, I think. Damn it. There, there <laughs> is. This is the biggest problem. Oh this is the biggest God. problem. <laughs> Damn not- it. D- d- you always every time every anytime we're doing, she's uh she's always got me on this one man i should have shut up <laughs> no, this, is good stuff. But this is this is this is about spontaneity this is about lifestyle changes right because i know what you're going through sean like a lot of people don't know about me like i had issues with food and still sometimes do like in the past i used to take diet pills to try and lose weight because i i didn't like what i looked like and you know, the way I was showing myself outwardly in a sense, I went through a lot of stuff, but I know what you're talking about as far as like trying to get back to whatever that it thing is of what we think in our head is like when we're on, like, I call it like firing at all cylinders. Like I feel great. I got all the good foods. I'm working out and everything. Like 
we try to get to that. And I don't know if you're like me, like I try and go from that in like a day, like from zero to 100. And then I screw that up. So then now I have the moment where I beat myself up about it. And I'm like, well, you suck. And then I kind of do that over. It's like, try again tomorrow, but I already beat myself up about it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So I'm curious of like Maria actually like how how would you help us <laughs> well, to start the process? Like especially when we do love to eat. Like I just had like a medium size Carvel ice cream yeah. yesterday. Mm. All right? Like I got sprinkles on the back. Of my- <laughs> Cuz I'm just like Stacy you could look at it. But you can't touch it. Control yourself. Doesn't that make you want it more, though? I salivate every time I look at my That's phone. That's what I'm saying. No, I'm not, not the phone. You're saying that you're not. <laughs> okay, because here's the thing. And, you know, a lot of people that follow me in my wellness world mm-hmm. know even my story as far as you mentioned diet pills. I had a pretty well, I say borderline eating disorder only because I was never actually fully diagnosed. But in mm-hmm. high school, I did. And again, if people that know all my traumas and stuff, a lot of times when you have traumas, you want to control situations yep. and I could control that. Yeah. So, you know, I, that's the exact reason I got into personal training and all of that. It wasn't because I just really loved it. It was because there was an aspect of that. I loved it. But there was an aspect <laughs> of it that I um, knew that if I learned more, I could control it more, you know? And so there was a very unhealthy level of it. Even as I started training early on, more was better, more was better, more was better. And, you know, I went with, like went like that the first even beginning of my professional quote unquote career in the wellness world Mm -hmm. until I got to the point that I like was burning the candle of both ends. I was exercising along with my clients. I was working full time as a trainer then. So I was exercising eight to 12 hours a day, depending on the day. And I was eating 800 calories a day. Whoa. So Mm -hmm. your body can only do that so long. Um, and I was living on my youth, you know, my hormones got to the point they were like, Psh. I mean, it was bad. It was bad stuff. But, you know, it takes kind of figuring out the relationship with food usually isn't about the relationship with food as much as it's sometimes it's other stuff. And um, food's a comfort. You know, you think about when you're little and you skin your knee, a lot of times mom or grandma or auntie or whoever gives you an ice cream or a popsicle or a lollipop, you know, <laughs> so mentally we're combining this, this comfort with food. And, you know, if you kind of recognize that and realize that you can kind of take that to say, okay, well, it's not that I can't be comforted with food, but I do need to, to work, like work on what else I can be comforted with. And you mentioned pasta, figure out, okay, well, how can I not say no? Like Stacey with you, how can I not say no? I can't have ice cream, but how do I have it within my boundaries? And for me, you know, I ended up going from the trainer and I always say that the diet dietic you know, style of nutrition to as a nutrition, as an integrative nutritionist. Now I look at things kind of from a whole food level and I don't pay attention to fat. I don't pay attention to calories. I pay attention to quality of food and what's in it because I always explain to people that your body kind of works like a computer and, you know, we're, the, the body's kind of pre-programmed with what it recognizes as, as food, you know, think of it like a computer program. But if you put something into your computer that the that the, the computer doesn't recognize, it's not going to be able to run that program. And it's like that with food. So a lot of our you know foods are like foods with quotation marks. So you really need to start to get particular. Don't worry about saying, no, I can't have pasta or no, I can't have ice cream. Look at the ingredients and say, if I can't make it in my house, if I couldn't make it in my house myself without like a degree in chemistry, I don't need to eat it. And mm. those boundaries are a whole lot easier to stick with, especially now because there's a whole lot more you know, whole food options out there that if you're just removing the chemical side of things, that is not as kind of a oppressive of a, I hate the term diet, but a right. the style lifestyle as it is to say, I can't have ice cream or I can't have pasta, especially when you love ice cream and you love pasta. How long can you stick with that? Hmm. Hi, Michelle. Hey, Michelle. Michelle's heard my um, spills in the wellness world. So. Hmm. Hello, again, lady. Hello. <laughs> I know you. I know you love me. You know. I do. That's why I'm trying to give you pasta. <clears throat> I'm trying to give you back pasta. 
<laughs> and with pasta, Sean, just a healthier version. That's what that's what mm. Maria Daniels is uh, mentioning. And uh, with me, I, I just recently started eating ice cream again, and that's my thing. I, I like I'm an extremist. It's not there's no in between. It's either a lot of it or none at all. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm trying to uh, get back to the sometimes. Like when I'm focused on other stuff, then ice cream is not even. Give yourself a day you can do it. Just be like on Fridays we have ice cream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's I'm not. I, it's not. I can't have ice cream on Monday. It's I get to have ice cream on Friday. Right. It's all mindset. Yeah, you're right. Sometimes I forget that a lot of things that we absorb in other portions or sections of our life can be applied to other things, like. For example, like working out, you know, you said like, you know, you were working out a lot, like food, working out, all these things are moderation. So if you just put that in other elements of your life, you could start to create, it's not going to be specific, like a hundred percent balance. There's going to be highs and lows, but it'll at least be something that is manageable and functional for you where you can embrace spontaneity or you can embrace like not having this like sh- like tight structure of expectation, but more like this fluidity and movement where you kind of like ebb and flow and you just kind of like move with it. You know what I mean? Absolutely. And yeah. I mean, I, I hate when I see people tying it to, you know, looking a physical way because that's usually the most damaging thing. I you know, right. and and I've had people in the past come to me that that is their that's their only goal. Uh, I had one lady, and this has been oh lord. 16, 17 years ago, she brought me a, a pair of pants, a pair of shorts, and they were like size two, and they were like this big, and her frame would have never fit that. So that was her goal. That was what she wanted. For what reason? She couldn't tell me. Like, why is mm. that the goal? Mm. You know, why would that be the goal? Because, you know, it should be about health. It should be, and this was even before I really started getting into things like I am now, and even then, I was like, this is not the way to do it, you know, because you you get attached to that size and you're always chasing that and you're forgetting about what's more important which is the whole reason of trying to be more you know healthy anyway is is to feel better to have more energy to you know not have to be on meds you know whatever the reason it shouldn't be tied to just to the scale or just to some type of you know size because you're you're that kind of stuff changes as you get older anyway naturally and you know there's a certain level that you know, yes, I'm all for exercise. Yes, I'm all for, you know, eating well, but I'm also about really being kind to your mind too. And I think that's a big portion of that. So anyway, you hit my nerd button. I blame you. Mm. No, I love it. I mean, you're, you're dropping information that we need to hear. And I think that's one of the best parts of this uh, experience with all three of us, because we get to be open about what we're dealing with, but then we, each, I think, have components where you could be like, oh, guess what? Like, this is something I know, and this is something, you know, you just share. It's like, you know, we're in the sandbox, and we're just like, hey, you know, it's like, guess what? I got a little truck, you know, you got a car. Are you the type that throws sand? Sean's probably the type that throws sand. I definitely don't throw, throw sand. sand. Did you throw sand as a kid? Did I? I don't even remember. I don't remember playing in the sand a whole lot. Maria, did you play in the sand? Um... I lived at the beach for a minute. I lived in North Myrtle Ocean Isle. So, I mean, I'm sure I played in the sand. I don't know. What is that? It's North Myrtle Beach. Where's Myrtle Beach? Myrtle? On the eastern coast. Is that like North Carolina or something? Yeah. Is that where Bugs Bunny? No, it was Pismo. Where Bugs Bunny was always trying trying to dig to. Is that where he was trying? Is it? <laughs> no, P- Pismo Beach is where, where Bugs Bunny would always pop up, Sam. I'm trying to make it go to Pismo Beach. Am I, I at Pismo? That. I'm about to look this up. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. I lived at North Myrtle. It was called Ocean Isle when I was a kid, and I can remember it. Um, I can actually remember being a kid, and Hugo, Hurricane Hugo came through when we lived there mm-hmm. and tore our steps off and broke the windows because we lived right on the beach, in a beach house. I remember that, but. Jesus. My parents will probably tell you about Gilbert back in, I don't know if it was the seventies or so in Jamaica, a crazy hurricane came through. Hurricanes are no good. I've never been super scared of storms or anything. I've 
you know, been in that hurricane. I was in two tornadoes. One Holy them, crap. What was that like? Them, uh, well, one of them, we could just see it. It was when I was, I was a kid then, but we lived in Tennessee and we were driving and it didn't ever get super, super close to mom driving the, the van. But um, then there was one time, this was actually semi-local. It was done in um, Northern Kentucky. And this was, or semi, yeah, semi-local. That's the word I want to. Um, but this was, let's see, Brent is 19 now. And he was probably two at the time. So it was about 17 years ago, roughly. And um, I was driving. I had a blazer. And I was driving. I had the three little kids. The, my three oldest ones are like stair steps. They were they were, um, when the, whenever the youngest of the three were born, they were three, two newborn. So they were just like stair steps. So I had them all three in the back and I was driving and the tornado just come out of nowhere, come straight across the highway and spun my vehicle into no. other lanes, blew out my tire. Um, I, I just remember, uh, Brent, that was a baby. He slept through the entire thing somehow with me and the two girls, like, freak it out but the girls were screaming and i was saying i don't didn't even know what else to do but i started screaming singing jesus loves me at the top of my lungs to try to <laughs> <laughs> my, my southern Baptist roots kicked in i'm like we're going we're going to heaven that's it jesus <laughs> loves me. Top of my whatever works <laughs> I, across the highway, blew out a tire and i was like in shock like i was i was like in shock for a hot minute but i mean we were fine i had to call my dad to come um get wow. us wow yeah, it was hot mess, but um, yeah, I don't know. I've never really been scared of storms, but that was well, that's kind of pretty crazy. dope. I, I used to want to be a tornado chaser, but then it was only because I'm I don't like thunderstorms. It's not something. Did you did you do? I have to know. Is it because you watched the movie Twister though? <laughs> that's a yes. Uh, <laughs> part of it. Part of it. Maybe. Part of it. Part of it. Mm -hmm. Well, I used Not to want to be a meteorologist. I used to like I'm. I love reading. Rate like I would. I was the type of kid that sat by herself and would just like try and read things to understand on her own. And I would always like you know when kids had to go to the book fair, or whatever. Like I would always go but, like, is there any science books? Is there anything about science? Like how the world works? Like things like you, that. We were rich then. We didn't get book fair money. Oh, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> yes. Oh, Scholastic came to the no. school and no, no? okay. Wow. I remember. I had I had a little weather know. station. <laughs> I probably still have it, like a little weather station. It's got like this little like whale that like has like a like a wind um vein or whatever, and it's got like a little thing to like measure the rain temperature gauge. Like I was yeah. so. You had it made. Yeah, we not ever up. You're like you had it made. You had, had a made. good life. Rich kid. No, it's funny. My kids at school, they would always get book fair money, and and they started getting to the point where they're like, ten dollars. Is that all we get? Ten dollars. I'm like, no, it's freaking start on me. My mom never gave me enough fair. for the book fair, though. Like everything was like she was like, all right, here you go, like five bucks. Everything's like six and up, and I'm like, I guess I get a pencil again. Yeah. What about you, Sean? Would, do you remember this part? Like, did you have that experience with books or like fairs? Uh, you know, I, I was always, I was always like a lazy kid, man. I, I never wanted to, I never wanted to read. Um, you know, there were, I, I, I know that I, I would attempt to, I mean, I would go to the book mobile. There'd be a book mobile that would come around and I would, you know, get some like books out of there. Truck? Yeah, well, not like an ice cream truck, but like a bigger one, like a like a bus. Awful. I want one here now. Yeah, like does it play music and like, hey guys, you know, what do you want to read? Ducks? That's a, that's like, a business no plan, plan, Stacey. We can do that. Actually, that is not a bad business plan. That's actually pretty cool. <laughs> I would go. I yeah. love books. Yeah, so yeah. I mean, basically, it's a book that uh, like a like a traveling you know trailer that has books in it, and you go to different stops. I guess you could you know order if you're a um, like a daycare center or something like that. They'll stop there, and you go in and you you know check out a book. You have to return it, or yeah, well, yeah, when it comes again, you got to switch it. Oh. You know. That's kind of cool. The borrowing system. That's even better. So they don't have to. Then it doesn't. The kids that don't have any book fair money still get some. Mm -hmm. Yes. This actually sounds like a really great idea. I like you it. Know, 
you know what I saw outside? There's one of these houses that I deliver to when I do my deliveries, and they have, I don't know if you guys know about, um, what the heck is that show called? Oh my God, what is it? Uh, Doctor Who. Is it Doctor Who? I've heard of Doctor Who, but I've never seen it. With like the police box, like phone thing or whatever. So they have like a box there and it has just random books in it. And you could just take one, like kids books. Like it's just on their lawn, you could just take one. And I think that's like really amazing because one of the biggest things that I love is like getting knowledge to people so that it could be shared and utilized. So I would love to do something like that. That sounds like really, really cool. Yeah, that would be a, a good... What if you were on a bike? Like the kind with a bike you just pedal through? With your yeah, bike? with like lights on it and like you know, little like things spokes. on your handlebars that go like yeah. this. Well, it's the spoke, so it sounds like a motorcycle. Yeah. And, then, like, you <laughs> and you get the helmet that has like the mohawk or the, oh, or the no. unicorn horn. No, I think one of y'all can wear that. I ain't wearing that. I'll wear it. I tried to talk for my kids into getting one of those two. At the store What'd because they, say? they wouldn't do it because they're losers. I was oh, like, come no. on, <laughs> come on. These are the cool That's ones. They wouldn't do it. They're losers. Oh, and the my boring God. regular one. Oh, they just want like the regular one with the little like hat at the end. Yeah, I'm Not like, even that. Losers. Anyway. <laughs> Sean, we're thinking about starting a book club. Would you like to be a part of the book club? He just said he doesn't read. Yeah, Would only you- if, if they're audio books. That that counts as reading. There's nothing wrong. I'll, with that. I'll, I'll do it if it's an audio book, but it, like, yeah, I mean, I, I have authors that send me books, and it's like, I'm like, I, that you I haven't send read. Them to me? How about this? You'll read them it. and give him cliff notes. <laughs> yeah, like send me the books. I'll read them, and I'll like record like yeah, audio the synopsis, book. and I'll just break it down for you real quick of what you need to know, and you could just like put it on when you're like on your way home because I love <laughs> to read. <laughs> that's a brilliant idea. <laughs> yeah, that, that's, what, that's what I was gonna. I was just uh, like, have my girlfriend and go like, "Hey, if you, uh, since I'm not, gonna, since I don't read them, how about you read them and then you re- give them a review? At least that's a, you know, that's the most I can do for you. You know, if I, if I'm not, if I'm gonna have you on the show and I'm, I'm probably not gonna read your book um, unless you give it to me in an audio version, then then I will. I just don't. For whatever reason, I just I can't. Huh? <laughs> so I just, I just have this aversion to reading, man. It just, it, it puts me to sleep. It puts me to sleep. Like every time that I, I read, it, ma- it makes me want to go to sleep. My husband doesn't like reading, and I asked him why, and he says because it has to be like really quiet, and he has to finish it all, um, or he struggles with it. Mm. So, I don't know. Yeah, well, plus I got some I got some reading PTSD from prison, so. <laughs> you do a lot of reading? Yeah, I read like 300 books when I was there. Whoa! Oh, that's probably the real. But that, that, that was, a, that was in a, a three-year period. Yeah, but I'm that's saying. still that's, a lot that's for a lot, three years. I mean, what else are you doing, I guess? That's 100 <laughs> books a year. But that's actually pretty bad. Like, if you ask me, like, for me, like, I'm just like, that's amazing. Tell me all you know. Like, that's how I feel about it. I mean, yeah, I but I, I, could, I couldn't even, like, most of them, it wasn't, it was all, like, uh, courtroom dramas. There's, oh, there's a okay. few, there's a few different um, authors that, that do those. And then there's some other books, uh, another author that I got into. I can't, I, like, I, I, I so, can't even remember their names, really, except for the questions. Grisham. John Grisham was one. The Twilight series, I, I wrote, I had those sent in and I read those. Oh, um, so you're picking the books. But we, well, yeah. Well, when I got to prison, I was able to have books sent in, um, you know, or stuff that I wanted to read or people I would be talking to and say, oh, you should check this book out. And so I'd ha- if I couldn't find it there, I would uh, have it sent in. And then I would just give it away to somebody else, pass it down the line. I never knew how that worked. Yeah, well, I mean, you you have to, it has to be, you can get them sent in, but it has to be from a, a certain specific place, um, you know, because for whatever reason, they don't want you to be able to have access to, uh, hey, give them this, this laced, uh, can, let's switch this book with this book, and this one's laced with all kinds of PCP or acid, mm-hmm. and, you know. 
Mm. Whatever, whatever it is, that ends up being whatever these pe- people are See, this is smuggling in these days. Stupid. Like I don't even know. Look, you know, people like find ways to make things work with limited apps. I don't know what PCP is. I do know what acid is. Not because I've done it. Well, to me, it's all the same thing. <laughs> like you, you could have you could have people like if, like if you had liquid acid, you know. Drop it on a, pa- a piece of paper and, 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 on their tongue and or whatever. yeah, and you can just have them put it on your tongue. But I, you know, I would. I don't know if I'd want to be on acid in fucking prison. To be honest with you, yeah, it sounds like it would be pretty messed up. Actually, you don't uh, want to be tripping out in a place. <laughs> yeah, I don't no. like not feeling like I said. I've never in control. I don't. So I've never had to experience struggling with drugs, and that's why because I don't mm. like feeling like I'm not in control of my my world. Mm-hmm. So. That's never been my struggle. I have lots of other ones, but that's never been it. Yeah, I did acid once. I, I did it one time, and it was a horrible trip. And it was, uh, I, yeah, it was, it was a crazy. It was a funny story, but it, yeah, I didn't. I never did it after that. It, I just didn't like it. I didn't like. I didn't like all of the visuals on it. It was a lot different than than. Um, uh, than mushrooms mushrooms is more of you get visuals but it for me it's it was more of like a happy visuals you know it's like there's just something yeah there's there's just something different about it with the with the acid it was like stuff started moving and i was just like oh and then like i was and i was hanging out with uh (laughs) well i was hanging out with this girl that i was trying to get with and that did not make us want to get with it. It, it, it. it was like we were both looking at each other like. Oh. <laughs> I can only that. <laughs> you know what I mean? She's the standing last there thing like. I, <laughs> you're like, are you a fish? <laughs> yeah, the last thing I'm thinking about is thinking about that. Yeah. I was like, like get oh away from God. me. It was, just, it was just crazy. You just triggered my brain, and I totally forgot what I was going to say. Never mind. I don't remember. We're going to say, say that. Well, that's good because that's not a part of a healthy lifestyle. Yeah, it's not. It's what? Definitely what, not. What's not? I'm just kidding. Acid. Wave, wave, wavy I'm gravy. She was trying to, was trying trying to bring to it back around. Because uh, like, we've no. got like five minutes. Like I have to say, like we have crazy conversation flow. Yeah. That's just like something that's definitely apparent it comes here. natural yeah and next week <laughs> tune in and we'll be talking about prison p- pruno no. pr- pr- prison oh. hooch <laughs> what's pruno that's prison wine that's, pr- that's prison wine what do they get i don't the even want to know how it's made oh, i got i got thrown in in the hole for 30 days for making it was it worth it Actually, yeah, it was actually. <laughs> <laughs> it's day go by. Why the heck I not? do it again? Oh uh, well, you know, it was, um, I, I can't oh, even okay. imagine. I get nervous. Like I think I've said this a thousand times. I cry if I get a speeding ticket, not because I'm trying to get out of it, but because I'm in trouble. So every time that you talk about this kind of stuff, it makes me nervous on the inside. Like my insides quiver. So I'm like, oh my gosh. I know oh. how you feel. That's how. <sighs> I don't like being in trouble. I like to try and make sure that I am in control and I'm aware or um, I need to be aware. That's yeah, I have thing. to be like, if I stay on the outside, kind of like, okay, do I got this? I got this. Do I got this? Like, I don't drive too fast, except for that one time. I'm getting my tire out after that. Before. No. But that's because I don't. Every time I've ever got a speeding ticket, it's not that I go super fast. I go one Why do you say it like that, Maria, every time? But listen, listen to the story. So, <laughs> story. I go one speed. That's why I get in trouble. Like I, I have like, I don't know. I have like a, what is that? 90? <laughs> not 90. I usually go like 55, 60, like that. That's area. not bad. No, but it is like whenever it drops down randomly to 35. Oh, and I'm all like, I'm is, like, it, is it a residential area? Yeah, because when that's <laughs> always been my problem. I don't pay attention. So I'm like driving the highway, you know, and the highway goes into oh those God. little tiny little townships. Yes, yes. I'm like ADHD out, yeah. out like, ah, the trees are so pretty. And I'm driving and then, Wee! every single time I've ever got a ticket, it's been like that kind of crap. And I'm like, oh my mm. God. And that's the thing. Like my husband's got a freaking lead foot. Like nobody's business. He never gets a ticket. 
time, place. But he pays attention. <laughs> no, he pays attention. It's literally all down there. I don't not pay attention. I'm shopping. I'm like, ooh, I like that door. Ooh, those are pretty good. Oh, God. Like, <laughs> so you're not going to be like, Wee! No, I'm shopping. I'm like shopping the entire time. I'm like, ooh, I really I like that. I gratefully never got a speeding ticket. Ever. Yeah, but do you have a, well, you do drive a lot. As far as I have it, so you drive. Because I, yeah, I, I drive a lot, lot of miles on my freaking car. But then again, I got my mini when it was like 4,000 and something miles. I've had it for about two or three years. Mini what? As, Cooper? Yeah. 2017 and, Mini Cooper. Yeah. I love and it. How many so my miles does it have on it now? It's my favorite car ever. That's my how dream many, car. How many miles does it have on it now? It's like 30K. What? And how many years? Like two, three. Yeah, there's no way. My first year that I had. What do you mean? The, like, Is that no high or low? Years. Well, lower compared to me, I put oh. um, 50 some thousand miles on my car from March 2019 to December 31st, 2019. Dang. Well, you are in like an area where to go to the grocery store, you got to drive like a year. I, it's 20 so it minutes sense. one way. Yeah. Well, that's what I was saying. I drive a lot. So, yeah. That's how I make myself feel a little better. I'm like, well, technically, and yeah, I you drive, drive long distances. Lot, lot. I used to have to go drive to all these clients everywhere, which I COVID allowed me to have to do that as much anymore. So that's one good thing. But anyway, yeah, I've had a lot of tickets. Um, I was going to say, what about you, Sean? But never mind. <laughs> yeah, I've I've had I've had I've had my share. <laughs> I was like, wait, I know this story. <laughs> I've had plenty of tickets, been in plenty of jails, been in. Oh my goodness! I, I can't even imagine. Like you'd have to like. like what do you even say, Sean? Do you just go like, well? <laughs> I would cry. I would cry like. Ah! I would cry. No, my my. You know, actually, though, when when oh, so here here is something funny. Yesterday, we, I was on the jet skis. Um, uh, oh. you know, my girlfriend went out. I, you know, took the drone out and was doing some oh, nice. stuff, filmed some boats, and you know, just messing with it because I, I picked up a new one. Um, and on our way back, so this this one we're going, and that's, we're so you know, the area that we're in, one it's called Bethel Island. There's a lot of houses on the water, and so there's tons of w no wake zones, right? So you only ha can only go five miles an hour. Well, this one boat was a vroom, flying through, and you hear somebody would, so these people because it happens so often. You know, they have a, a siren that they go off, and you, another guy's all slow it down, you piece of shit. <laughs> and and so I was like, oh, oh, what a trip! And so we're going, and then all of a sudden, this fucking out of nowhere, the sheriff comes and 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 pulls him over i was like oh wow i've never seen him come that quick on the water i mean that was just like like that and so anyways we're going and they're pulling him over and as soon as we go past him uh and my my girlfriend's behind me i'm probably about i don't know maybe 25 yards 50 yards something like that and uh as i pass the, the cop i, I go i you know, go because we're out of that zone and, and go. And she didn't wait to pass him before she uh, she hit the gas, right? Oh. So she hit the gas like as she was at their stern. She, and so, like, they let that dude go for whatever reason and they come and they fucking chase her down. And I found out that my, my ski, because both of them are mine, that one's not registered uh like to anything and so i'm like trying to have to convince i'm like dude that that's mine i've had them for years and blah 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 blah. this 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 and that so anyways yeah that's it's getting a ticket she got a ticket <laughs> you're like i didn't get it uh! <laughs> well no now i have to go to dmv and i'm like that and was what i it. yeah and, and register it and do all that stuff and i was like Fuck, that's the last thing. Can I'm you do, do it online? In Ohio, you can do it online. I don't know. I was thinking, well, damn, maybe I should go do to renew my AAA me membership. That way, I can just go into the AAA office and do it. Yeah, AAA is a good thing to have. Yeah. Well, I used to have it. I just, you know, I stopped working, and mm. I was like, in you know, COVID, I'm like, well, I ain't gonna be traveling nowhere, so someone save me that money. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> Guys, it is 8.03. Oh, 
That's our another... official stopping time. Yeah, we started at like 7.03. So we roll. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you're just fashionably late. We're always. It's been like a thing. It's like our we on God. Yeah. Mm. Well, I enjoyed our conversation. And I think usual, it was very spontaneous. Yes, it was. If anyone knows how to embrace spontaneity, it's us in this conversation yeah. or any conversation <laughs> that we have. It's always an impromptu time with impromptu topics. Not always impromptu people because it's us. Hmm. And next week when I come back, I will have I will have uh, an update on the trip to Vegas. Oh, that's right. This weekend, yeah. so we'll be able to. Hopefully, maybe I'll have some 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 photos and some uh, some videos. Yeah, that'd be cool. You could send them over. We could share them uh-huh. if you want. <clears throat> well, it depends. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for joining another episode of Spontaneity with myself, Maria Daniels, and Sean Dustin. We'll see you next week, same time, 7 o'clock, which is sometimes 7.03 p.m. every Tuesday night. Say goodbye, guys. Goodbye, goodbye guys. <laughs>